We welcome you back to Lake Wales, Florida, and our continuing coverage of the PBA King of Bowling, powered by Amp Time. Now, for your lumber liquidators, know the wood. It's Wes Malott's call as King, and he calls Scorpion. Big shocker. The right-handers will play out to start. Parker Bone loves that outside line. As the oil pattern breaks down, they move into the center of the lane. Has anybody found the right ingredients to take down Big West Malott on his favorite oil pattern? No one yet. Rhino Page made a great run last week, finally falling 257 to 233. And Parker Bone the third, the lefty, will step up. Just completed his 24th year on the tour. 32 career titles, just one major. I want to get over here. <laughs> Parker, it, it, I promise you here. it's not his first time on television. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Up first, Parker Bone the third. Just finished his 25th year on the tour. 32 tour titles, one major. How about a nice uh, little pin carry to start this match for the Hall of Famer? Just a little bit of that West Malott carry. Love you, baby. Get it out now. A little West Malott carry. It's everybody's carry here at the Kegel Training Center. Great pin Even carry. I could get some carry here. Rob, Maybe carry out service, but. You might be able to throw a four bagger here. Mm. That sounds nice. Notice I said four bagger. Here's Brad Angelo, Lockport, New York native. Gets all 10 to kick. Brad just completed his eighth year on the tour. Just one victory on the Lumber Liquidators PBA Tour title. It came this year in Omaha, the Pepsi Viper Championship. And you know, we've had a hard time getting Wes Malat to, to wear the entire King wardrobe, the crown, the cape. He did it coming out the, last week. The scepter. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. I promise you this. If this man here were to win today, he would have no problem donning the wardrobe. I saw you gallivanting around with the robe earlier today, yeah. prancing around in the approach. Yeah, but I wasn't the one taking pictures of myself sitting on the throne. That was you. Yeah, I also have a few of you sitting out there as well. The scepter, the robe, the, th the throne <laughs> that Wes has been perched on now for five straight weeks. Watching Brad Angelo and this man, Parker Bone the Third. Little tug shot here for PB3 goes high, only leaving the four pin, but that almost had a chance to go down as well. We've seen the four or any other pin under those circumstances drop many a time through this. And here's Parker on tonight's format. It's going to be neat. You know, you only have three players. Obviously, we all know that the king is there. He's the reigning king, and he is going to bowl me or my opponent. And uh, the way that I look at it is just go out and do what I know how to do best. Knock over 10 pins, win the first match, and then I only have to win one match for the title or to be reigning king of the hill. That's right. One of the perks of being the lower seeds here is that you really only have to win for these guys two matches, and you're the king. It's done. Les had to go through everyone. Parker Bone III drops them all. He was a wild card entrant into this tournament. He finished tied for 11th on the PBA Player of the Year point list. Brad Angelo finished 10th. And here is Angelo. Opened up with a double, looking for three. Hello, Big Four. And we've seen it for five consecutive weeks where Wes Malata is the only player that's created angle on this Scorpion oil pattern. Everybody else goes too straight, in my opinion. Open frame after 
starting off with two straight strikes. Angelo will continue here in the fourth. Talked to him about his season earlier today. Said, you know, didn't finish as strongly as I would have liked. Did finish sixth at the U.S. Open the fourth time. And fourth time he's finished in the top ten at the U.S. Open, but missed the show. But he said, all in all, great season. You know, I met my goal of making three shows. And this is a guy who was seriously mulling retirement coming into this season. Come on, getting off to that hot start, you would think that you get the impression that Brad was going to bowl a big game. Instead, it's through the nose, big four, through the nose, three, six, ten, and in jeopardy now of going back to back open frames. There are your back-to-back -back open frames. And a bowler of the quality of Parker Bone the third sees his opponent roll back-to-back -back opens, and he says, drool bucket uh, on right lane, please. <sighs> 32 career titles ties him with Norm Duke for fifth all-time on the PBA list. Uh, mulling a Brooklyn here in Florida. I'm out. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I was, I was kind of wondering the same thing, Parker. I was, I've never seen you make a shot like that in your entire career. I mean, the first one was through the nose. Okay, I'll give you that. But Parker Bone, the third, pulling at Brooklyn? I mean, come on. 5'8"? He really is DVD worthy, though, with his approach, his release, his follow through. Classic style. I mean, it's one of one of the styles that has really withstood the test of time out here on tour. He, he doesn't look any different than when he started out here 25 years ago. And I, I think the interesting thing, though, right now is it looks to me like he's playing so much farther in than any of the other southpaws we've seen in this series. And that, obviously, a little bit farther Close. to the left. Robbie, and that ball labored really hard to get back. So it, it just looks to me that, like, he's not very comfortable on this scorpion oil pattern. Do you know who is comfortable on the uh, scorpion oil pattern? Yeah, the guy in the big chair with the drool bucket between his feet. Yeah, that Drape, guy. Drake in the red velvet. After two open frames, Angelo gets back with an X. Three strikes, two open frames for Angelo. Cuts the deficit to 19. Malat over there working his abacus as we speak. Trying to factor in another 10 grand. Unless Brad Angelo or Parker Boom III can start stringing about five or six, seven in a row. And that, and that could have been another big four. So it just goes to show you what kind of ball reaction Wes Malott can create on this Scorpion Oil pattern when none of the other players can. And, and you go down the list of the players that he's taken on and, and the players that have competed in this event. I mean, Rob, you're talking about 11 of the best players on tour. Angelo down 19 to two-time player of the year, Parker Bone the third. There is your reigning player of the year, Wes Malott, waiting on the throne to find out who his opponent will be on the final edition of the King of Bowling.